let me make this video. Hope everybody's feeling righteous. It's your boy Elijah in the building. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? So I want to give a shout out real quick to the family and the people and the uh, and the people that lost their lives to the family of the members. The family members are the people who were involved in that car accident. I'm going to give a shout out to the family members. And hope that they're doing well. I couldn't imagine a phone call like that, man. You know, I couldn't imagine a phone call like that. So what my day was like today, um, I was in a truck and, and, and um, something was going, is going wrong at about, I noticed at about, you know, be careful when you guys, when you, when you guys buy these trucks, man, because at about 300,000 miles, I noticed that something goes wrong or something happens, you know, within the exhaust. So that's why I'm here at this hotel uh, off work. But back to what I was saying. So I had to drop that warning to whoever may catch that one because that was, that's real. I had a couple of trucks that did the same thing around the same time, around the same amount of miles. So for my uh, homies that's driving, you know, pay attention to that. But um, man, yeah, shot, shot, shot goes out. Big shout out, big love, uh, shootouts. Big love, shout out. I said shootout, huh? I just got out that look. Just got out that little shower thing right there. It took me a nice little shower. Um, but shot, my heart goes out. Um, and I'm gonna tell you how close it gets. My kids, mom, my my the lady that I married as a young man, whom I still love to this day. I mean, I, it, it's funny how that doesn't go away. But you guys may not see eye to eye on everything. When I heard, it, I heard it was a Mercedes. So when you hear stuff, it's and then it goes all the way back. You start playing things back in your head. So that's why we give shots out to people who pass away like that because you know we don't we don't know the situation or the scenario of you know. Um, a, I heard there was a woman that was pregnant. The baby died in the car. The, somebody ain't understanding nothing right now. You can't, you can't probably mention God or nothing else, but at the same time, we all have choices in, in, in which we invent things, you know, a lot of times the things that we invent, a lot of the times our own inventions, uh, can take us out, um, through somebody else or through an accident or what have you. So shot, big shot goes out to that to that family who to the families who um, you know lost loved ones in that situation. And uh, I just want to say to everybody out there, man, keep your head up. I know it's not easy to my partner Faye. I know you watch his videos, man. Keep your head up out there, bro. I've been hearing you talk about that situation. Keep your head up, fam. For real. I pray with you and for you all the time ever since that G12 so you know keep doing what you're doing I'm super tired bro it's been a long day I got stranded on a um I got stranded before the grapevine did a little fixing went down past the grapevine it was just yeah it was it was it was it was, it was a lot today but you know to be safe to be safe out there and to make sure that people will be safe around you you can't, you can't, you, you, when, them, when them lights get to blinking in that truck, you can't, and, oh, and that's, I guess, that's the relation to what happened. When those lights get to blinking in that truck, you got to pull him over, man. You got to get out the way, man. You got to get out the, you got to get out the way of other people's lives. That mean that truck is telling you, I can't go no further. And if you do go further, it's a risk. And these lights are blinking and every light that blinks, every light that blinks is registering with the higher management. So if you do 
push anyway. They know you did it because the lights register. Everything register. Even if you call and tell them, oh, okay, my lights are blinking. They know it already. I watched, I watched the, the lady pull up what was going on with the truck. So the lights and everything that goes on with the truck is already registered with the company. So they know what's going on. That's a little key point for you boys out there doing some driving like that. You know, they re it's registering with them. Be beautiful out here like me. Be beautiful out here. Look, and this is what I wanted to say, right? Look, so check this out. You heard me just say I'm beautiful. Compliment yourself, and I'm going to tell you why you should, because other people won't do it, right? But I'm going to tell you what happens. If you compliment yourself in front of somebody, they give you a certain look, like, right? But if you say something negative about yourself, then it's, oh, maybe, you know, huh? You see how I just changed the energy right there when I say, when I call myself beautiful, you see how that happened? Oh, a man can be beautiful. No, yes, you can. You can absolutely be beautiful from the inside out. Well, that's not manly. Well, what is? What the hell is a man anyway? What is his responsibilities? When what is what is a man's responsibility? When he's in a wheelchair, when he's disabled, when he don't have arms or legs, thank God for how he accepts us. I've been listening. What's up, Uncle Earl? I hope you see this video. I know I'm about seven minutes and 16 seconds, maybe 17 seconds into the video, but what's up, Uncle Earl? Love you, man. Um, I've been listening to a song by John P. Key. Y'all go look it up. The only man that I've ever encountered that attacked racism inside the church, I mean, that actually made a song about it. His name is John P. Key. John P. E. E. Key. K. E. E. Go look him up. So he made a song called Colorblind. And I listened to that joint. I couldn't stop. I listened to the song about it. Right now, I'm only on day three of when, when the song came to me. I'm like on day three. But I actually listened to the song at least 80 times. At least. And that's without exaggeration. At least 80 times. Called colorblind. And if you listen to the words, he not simping with the church in this in the song. This dude is putting that song on. He's putting that song out there, Colorblind, by John P. Key. When you listen to what he's saying, he said he got arrested on a bike for driving, for riding a bike in his own neighborhood. And the song is like, is you know, is 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 stating like, what if we were all colorblind? Would we get along then? Would we be able to play golf with each other? Would we love each other? You know, and I, uh, the, the the driver that picked me up uh, in the tow truck, we talked a, a bit about that. Uh, a Hispanic brother, we talked about that. He told me how he he get discriminated against when he with his wife, and his wife just so happened to be, uh, I believe he said a, a Caucasian young lady, uh, and and how he get treated when how he see what she does, how she walks around, and then when he goes, all the attacks are on him. So anyway, um, yeah. so God bless you guys, man. I'm out. I'm finna put some of this. What's the name on? Letting the beard grow out a little bit.
check yourself out if you want to. Tell yourself you tell yourself how gorgeous you are, and watch everybody get mad at you for doing it. But say, get on there and say something negative about yourself, or talk about committing suicide or how you want to hurt yourself, and watch what happen. Man, you better compliment yourself when ain't nobody else doing it. Even if they do, still tell yourself how you love yourself. Because, you know, we ain't here forever. And uh, the whole time we, the, the times that we are here, for the time we are here, just enjoy. I'm, I'm tired, bro. So that's why I'm kind of like slurring the words and everything, but I'm tired, man. funny how you get the the salt and pepper thing come in after so long I thank God for every moment told y'all this is a human experience I ain't young or old I'm having an experience that's how I choose to look at it never let no one disrespect or 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 um, how should I say this never let anyone disrespect or detour you from your philosophy and I heard a man say well philosophy is this and that but philosophy is something that you believe in a philosophy is actually in the Bible every man should think of himself as he ought to but as he ought to rather than think of every man should not oh no that one is saying every man should not think more highly of himself than he ought to but rather think of himself with sober judgment but then there's other ones that tell you as a man thinketh, so is he and all this old stuff. It goes into how you think. I never thought old. Never. Never. Or young. I'm having the experience. When they told me I was young, I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? You still young. I was like, yeah, whatever. Cause you, uh, we wasn't doing young. We wasn't doing. We wasn't like when you, like when you young, you still young. Like you supposed to be at Disneyland twenty four hours a day. But when life wasn't happening like that, then you didn't feel that journey. You was like, this experience and that I'm experiencing right now has nothing to do with what you're talking about. The connection is not there. Maybe other people have lived that way, but a lot of people didn't. I love it though. You know, in a natural form, this is what the body does. I'm I'm hearing it until I leave. <laughs>